we are at the Alcor International Workshop 2024 in Cyprus, all here for the same purpose, which is fantastic. These workshops are such great opportunities to think hard about what is a complex condition, break it down into the elements that we can then communicate widely. It's motivating for me seeing all these people and the patients. I'm an auditory scientist, not a kidney scientist, so I need to know what patients are going through. The community has been the most important part for me. To know that like other people struggle with it, other people get you, you know. We don't have desks in front of us separating us from each other. We don't use titles in this audience. Everybody is just here to move everything forward we can do for a better outcome of the patients. We are very happy that we managed to host this very important meeting in Cyprus. The many experts from around the world, from nearly 20 countries, So zebrafish have 70% identical DNA as humans and we specifically use a zebrafish in order to uh, investigate how variants of unknown significance can have an impact in kidney function. So my main concern was how much protein should I take on my day-to-day -day life. When we first discussing with my wife about having a child, it really pushed me to try to understand how people live when they're being diagnosed with Alpert syndrome. There are several studies which are starting to show that gene therapy may actually be something that will work in the ear. So recently we found a new compound. This is a good chance, you know, to communicate. There have been a lot of advances in genetic testing and genetic technology, and as a result there's been more widespread use of it. Genetic testing is important because it confirms that Alport syndrome is the correct diagnosis. People are engaged to make awareness about the importance of what we do, and it motivates deeper to go into the laboratory and do this hard work. You know, you think like you know so much about the disease, but when you come to these workshops and you see that like novel discoveries that are being made and then being shared with the community, huh, I did not know about this for the disease. It's very really important that we can organize the same things in Croatia for Croatian patients. It's the first time for me and for my son. I think it's a very, a very good experience. So finding out that all these people are affected as well, it's actually making it feel like a family. And now uh, there is a hope that many people from all around the world is more involved. I can use this information to uh, tell more patients, maybe in a more easy, more relaxed way. Before we came, it was like, well, I know science is working on this, but it feels really great to see how that happens and the energy and enthusiasm of the people doing it. In the next 10 years, I think there will be many different treatments available that we might not even conceive of right now to slow their kidney disease progression delay the onset of the need for dialysis or transplant.